Icon has introduced the robotic 3D printer Phoenix, resembling a crane on hydraulic supports. It has a large arm powered by hydraulic cylinders, which extends to a great height. Inside the arm, channels are provided for supplying construction mixture. Orientation for precise printing is achieved through sensors. With its innovative design, the robot surpasses all previous analogs of gantry-type printers. With a height of 70 feet, Phoenix can print buildings up to 2 to 3 stories tall. The maximum height of the structure is 27 feet. Previously, it was not possible to deliver low carbon mixture at such a height, so the number of floors of printed buildings was significantly limited. The company has also developed a digital catalog of multi-story house designs ready for printing. All the client needs to do is choose a suitable layout and appearance, after which the unit will be delivered to the specified location and the house will be printed. Nowadays, you can mine using solar energy. A Canadian electric vehicle manufacturing company has introduced solar trees for cryptocurrency mining. The main advantage of such a device is the ability to use solar panels to power graphics cards which perform the computational processes. Each crypto solar tree is equipped with a vertical axis wind turbine to maximize electricity generation. One such tree can generate up to 11 kilowatts of electricity. Additionally, it can be used as a backup power source for your home. Moreover, the device has a futuristic look resembling a real tree. According to the creators, such a tree pays for itself in just 24 months of use, allowing you to make a profit from cryptocurrencies. You can install several of these trees on your property for cryptocurrency mining and clean energy generation. Previously, mapping, surveying, rescue operations, or monitoring changing environmental conditions using drones required operators to be nearby. But this wasn't always safe. Now, the DJI Dock 2 platform has been developed which provides autonomous takeoff and landing of drones without human involvement. The base protects drones from rain and dust, and it receives power via cable and a backup battery. Using external cameras, the operator can see the surrounding environment to assess conditions for takeoff. Flight routes, angle, and scale of shooting are set remotely to monitor changes through regular flyovers. Although flights are performed automatically, the operator can take control at any time. Drones recharge at the station for the next mission. The station itself requires maintenance every six months, so it can stay in the field for extended periods without people monitoring it. Thanks to ChatGPT from OpenAI, conversational communication with robots has advanced significantly. But when it comes to mimicking and responding with facial expressions to human emotions, we still have a long way to go for an adequate response. Everything has now changed with the introduction of the Emo robot, which anticipates when a person smiles and mimics a smile in response. The self-learning machine has two high-resolution cameras in its eyes and 26 actuators for displaying emotions. The robot spends several hours practicing in front of a mirror to understand which mechanisms are used to display facial expressions. Then it was shown human facial expressions. After frame analysis, it was able to anticipate a smile 840 milliseconds before it appeared. Such an invention is considered a significant step in communication skills, promoting people's trust in robots. CoFlowJet is developing the Maggie spacecraft for Mars exploration. Since Mars has many rocks and craters, a spacecraft with vertical takeoff is needed. Maggie has two rows of wings with four propellers each. They are powered by batteries and electric motors. The flaps can turn down 90 degrees, creating vertical lift from the airflow for takeoff. No runway is needed. The new aircraft can land anywhere NASA chooses for exploration. A rocket will deliver the plane to Mars and it will land in a special module with a parachute. The electric version can fly 111 miles on one charge, and it is expected that Maggie will fly 1,000 miles in a Martian year, sending images to its operators on Earth. The development is planned for collecting scientific samples and searching for water resources in hard-to-reach areas of the Red Planet.
Heliovis, a company from Austria, has introduced a new technology called Protective Concentrative Collector. Unlike similar concentrators, this device consists of an inflatable tunnel with a mirrored surface. Using these mirrors, sunlight is concentrated on the central tube carrying the heat transfer fluid. This allows for heat production ranging from 90 to 400 degrees Celsius. The inflatable tube maintains its shape with the help of compressors. It protects the mirrors from dust and eliminates the need for regular cleaning as in traditional mirror concentrators. The advantage of this technology is the absence of carbon emission during the generation of thermal energy. The concentrator can be used in various industries from chemical to water desalination plants. It is quite simple to operate and install due to its modular design. If the polymer structure becomes irreparable due to an unforeseen accident, it can even be replaced with a new one within a few days. Do you want to travel long distances comfortably while sleeping? This opportunity was offered by the 3D design studio Zoyo, which developed a concept capsule used in taxis. It's an electric-powered car called the SwiftPod. It has a three-wheeled base, but the third wheel is on the side, not at the front. This provides increased cabin space, which includes two beds and two seats. Passengers can sit, eat at pull-out tables, or sleep. Luggage is also stored in the cabin under the seats. The route is automatically planned considering road conditions and desired arrival time. The built-in intelligence system suggests passengers make additional stops to rest or admire the sights. Taxis of the future will allow you to travel long distances and arrive at your destination rested and refreshed. The Cobalt 50 Valkyrie airplane is considered the fastest in the world among single-engine piston aircraft designed for five people. The new model has a 350-horsepower engine and cruises at a speed of 155 miles per hour. With the fuel tank size taken into account, its range is 1,150 nautical miles. Attached to the engine is a three-blade Hartzell aluminum propeller, which generates takeoff thrust. The engine is located at the rear, contributing to silence in the cabin. The cabin opens by raising the windows, providing a 320-degree view. The aircraft's fuselage has an additional pair of front wings, similar to fighter jets, which enhance maneuverability. Its surface is equipped with an anti-icing system. Despite its small size, the aircraft can carry up to 1,200 pounds of payload. The model complies with FAR 23 certification rules and can fly without restrictions. Have you ever imagined a car that can fly and fit into a standard parking spot in the city? Australian company Pegasus has achieved this by releasing a flying car. The model has a single-seat carbon fiber body with firmly attached chassis. They are designed for road travel and have shock absorbers to increase comfort when driving over bumps. The maximum speed on the ground is 75 miles per hour. With two main blades and one auxiliary, the Pegasus flying car can take off vertically. In the air, it reaches speeds of 99 miles per hour with a flight range of 261 miles. The power source is a hybrid setup with a piston engine and an electric motor. To transition from air to ground mode, simply position the main propeller longitudinally so it doesn't protrude beyond the dimensions. The flying car is intended for law enforcement, firefighters, and private use. Is it possible to comfortably camp and set up a tent in 5 seconds? Yes, with the ViewSky rooftop tent, it's possible. The tent is installed on the roof of an off-road vehicle using special soft pads that protect the metal from dents. It can be raised in 5 seconds thanks to two X-shaped stands controlled by a remote and creates a full roof, protecting from precipitation. Entry to the tent is possible through the rear door via an attached ladder, and if the vehicle has a pop-up hatch, a second entrance is organized through a hatch in the floor. Additionally, there is a skylight window with a mosquito net. In hot weather, an air conditioner is mounted outside the tent on a built-in stand, supplying fresh, cool air inside and removing carbon dioxide. Similarly, heating is arranged in cold weather. How do people with disabilities navigate nature and rough terrain in a wheelchair? The answer to this question was provided by the company Exotech, 
which developed an all-terrain quad bike for people with disabilities. Essentially, it's a four-wheeled off-road wheelchair with equal-sized wheels, providing increased stability. The ExoQuad ExoTech has a low seated position, maintaining a low center of gravity. The wheelchair can climb steep slopes without tipping over and requires no effort from the rider. Specially designed side support for the seat allows wheelchair movement even for people with legs amputated up to the pelvis. The driver is securely strapped in for a safe ride. The founder of the company and brains behind this invention is Sigurd Groven, an athlete who lost sensation in his body from the chest down after a bicycle accident. Developers are constantly trying to improve the design of wind turbines to increase performance in low winds and protect them from damage during gusts. And here's the latest innovation, the B-Wind Vertical Turbine. It has two independent blades on separate axes. Each blade is twisted clockwise so that there is a 45 degree difference between the lower and upper edges. The base of the paired turbine rotates and aligns itself with the direction of the airflow. This ensures even the slightest breeze at speeds of 5 to 7 miles per hour is captured. In terms of performance, B-Wind outperforms competitors by 15 to 20 percent. Another advantage of this invention is that it can be installed within city limits at a lower height. No need for a tall mast. Despite this, the turbine itself stands at 119 feet tall and operates silently. Proteus is a unique aircraft created in a single copy. Despite its very unusual and even strange appearance, it has impressive capabilities. The aircraft can fly at an extremely high altitude of over 60,000 feet for up to 18 hours. Initially, its creators expected it to fly for 100 flight hours, but it has already completed over 1,000 flights, totaling more than 4,400 flight hours, and continues to have successful launches. This aircraft was designed for use at high altitudes as a communication tool in the telecommunications industry. Various equipment can be accommodated inside its slightly curved fuselage. The aircraft can accommodate two pilots, but it can also operate unmanned. This is possible thanks to satellite communication control of the aircraft. The Woodbury police have started using Star Chase technology to chase down criminal cars. During a pursuit, officers shoot a special GPS tracker at the stolen vehicle or the car carrying the criminals using a pneumatic launcher. The small device about the size and shape of a soda can attaches to the car with magnets and adhesive. Afterward, law enforcement can precisely track the vehicle even if it manages to escape and disappear from their sight. This method is much more effective, cost-efficient, and safe compared to using helicopters, since it's not always possible to deploy them. Once the vehicle is stopped, the tracking device can be removed and reused. A team of students from the University of Michigan have created a small and highly maneuverable robot. It can overcome various obstacles and change direction in any way. While designing the robot, the students drew inspiration from the shape of an office chair and a sea star. The large central sphere provides the device with an additional point of contact during movement which increases stability. Also, special hinges are installed on its limbs. Many parts of the robots can be 3D printed. The creators of the robot see its potential in mapping and exploring indoor spaces in complex and hazardous conditions. The cost of creating such a robot was approximately $500 for the team. This unusual device is designed to make bed making faster. To achieve this, a special inflatable pillow is placed under the mattress. With the press of a button, a powerful pump lifts the mattress up to make the bed. This process only takes a minute. While it may not revolutionize your life, the device's creators claim it will make life easier for people with special needs, pregnant women, seniors, and children as they no longer need to lift a heavy mattress to make the bed. The devices can also be used in hotels to make housekeeping easier. What do you think? Do you find this invention useful? The American startup Interlune plans to mine helium-3 on the moon. This chemical element is quite rare and expensive on Earth. 
It can be applied toward the development of quantum computing and nuclear fusion energy. To do this, they plan to send special machines to the moon, but it's not yet disclosed how exactly the substance will be stored and sent back to Earth. Interlune predicts that the demand for this substance will significantly increase in the near future. Currently, about 5 kilograms of helium-3 are used per year, but with the growth of modern technologies, the demand could increase to 4,000 kilograms per year. Interlune aims to deploy a test setup on the moon by 2028, with the first mining operation starting in 2030. Successful tests of the Hisar O plus air defense system were conducted in Turkey. It can simultaneously engage and shoot down at least nine targets at distances of up to 15 miles. The system can operate in any weather conditions. Rockets are launched vertically and can fly in any direction. Additionally, the missile uses an infrared homing head, making it more stealthy and unnoticed by adversaries. The system can effectively be used against fighter jets, helicopters, air-to-ground missiles, cruise missiles, and drones. The complex consists of a fire control center, missile launch system, medium-altitude air defense radar, electro-optical system, and infrared seeker missile elements. The system can intercept targets at altitudes of up to 12 miles, although detailed specifications are not yet disclosed. In Israel, a small electric car has been created which can shrink its size and is great for driving in big cities. You can drive this electric car from the age of 14. The electric car is only 4.5 feet wide. When folded, it narrows down to 3 feet. This is achieved by narrowing the wheelbase. Thanks to this feature, it can be parked in narrow lanes, saving space. Only one person can fit in this car at a time. It also has simple controls. However, the electric car is not very fast. Its speed reaches 54 miles per hour and the range on a single battery is 110 miles. In cities with heavy traffic and constant jams, this will be a good solution. An innovative vest with tactile feedback has been created for virtual reality gamers. Inside are 40 feedback points, providing the sensation of interaction between the player and the virtual world. For example, you can feel what's happening during the game, from impacts to simulated hits and physical exertion. It's made from high-quality, lightweight and breathable materials, ensuring maximum comfort during gameplay. Adjustable straps allow the vest to be individually fitted to any body size and shape. A powerful battery allows the vest to operate for up to 18 hours without recharging. Therefore, such a vest will be indispensable for those who love to immerse themselves in virtual reality. An unusual watercraft resembling a floating pool chair has been created for water enthusiasts. It's designed for two people who want to spend a few hours on the water. Unlike a pool lounge float, this watercraft has a fiberglass hull and is equipped with a motor so you can leisurely cruise, sip drinks, and enjoy the scenery. A full battery charge provides up to six hours of operation for the watercraft. For added comfort, the hull has palm leaf-shaped shading. Plus, you can operate this watercraft without a license or special skills, unlike boats and yachts. What invention impressed you the most? Write about it in the comments. In subsequent videos, you'll learn more about interesting innovations in the world of technology. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to like this video.